a much more on the BBC. Did we miss the game. beginning of the voice, Lady? Did, did we not hear her at the beginning? Was that very Alan Partridge? You think to miss the beginning? Uh, and it, that stuff can happen. <laughs> it can happen, can't it? Uh, did not mention Alan Partridge. Of course, uh, Norwich's finest broadcaster. 25 years since he has presented a show on the BBC. Can you believe it? So tonight on BBC One, uh, there's a new chat show called This Time. Alan is, of course, played by Steve Coon, his co-presenter. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, His co-presenter is Jenny Grisham, played by Susanna Fielding, who's here with us. We'll talk to you in a second. It's great to see you. You too. Uh, first, let's have a little look, shall we? <laughs> Susanna's here now. Well, that's <laughs> interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Do you want to get? Should we get something out of the way straight away? Have you have you been watching this program, for example? By way of <laughs> research, well, have you? You two are obviously complete professionals. You, no, you so can say I've whatever you like. I've never spot a moment of awkwardness on this <laughs> sofa. <laughs> you haven't <laughs> been watching much, clearly. <laughs> clearly very you diplomatic. <laughs> Did you watch a lot of stuff? Loads of shows. Um, and obviously, you know, this show is being likened to the one show, uh, so that's a really good comparison. But, you know, throughout the years, there have been lots of brilliant kind of male-female duos presenting shows. And however brilliant a presenter you are, on live TV, there is always potential for awkwardness. Um, it's just that having Alan next to you, the stakes go up by about 90%. Um, so, yeah, there were loads of characters to draw from. And all in that sort of um, uh, what you do brilliantly is the kind of um, the smiley, I'm not panicking, but you clearly are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's a lot of kind of like duck leg paddling underneath the surface. Um, but yeah, Jenny, my character, absolutely has to make it look like everything's going fine um, and, and seem like they're getting on. Mm. Uh, so yeah, a lot of the comedy comes from that and her desperately trying to sweep up all his awful faux pas. Um, but yeah. Of which is littered with them, isn't it? Littered, Why absolutely. Why is it that Alan's got another break? Well, Given what's, what's happened previously. Well, yeah, he did kind of mess it up, didn't he, big time. Um, well, my normal co-presenter suddenly gets ill um, and uh, the, yeah, the producers decide to bring in an emergency replacement, which happens to be Alan Partridge. And I th Alan Partridge is making a comeback, isn't he, shortly? You can't keep a bad man down. The number of times <laughs> I have been accused, not in a good way, <laughs> Of being Alan Partridge. Well, I mean, it's an occupational hazard for uh, anyone who has to anchor a show and think on their feet because, uh, so, so it's, I wouldn't take that uh, personally. Um, just tell us a little bit about um, learning the script as well because you pretty much, I'm not, I'm not being rude here, you didn't, you, you learned it on, on air virtually, didn't you? Pretty much, yeah. It's unlike anything I've ever done before. Normally you learn your lines, yep. you know, for the audition and it doesn't really change that much. This changed many, many times and that's because they tinker with the text to make sure it's the funniest it can be. Um, but yeah, I'm very often, I'm reading my script from the auto cue a bit like Welcome you guys do. Welcome to our world! Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was a real learning curve in that respect. But yeah. Alan fun. does that thing. I was noticing in that clip we showed before on the two shot in fact you can slightly sit he does a real leaning he he <laughs> he actively he sort of leans in do you know because I, I don't there's that weird thing <laughs> isn't it there's this thing about your your personal space that's right and it's yeah. i mean we sit quite close together right but not as cl oh, look at the way his hand is <laughs> i know it's terrifying isn't it it's terrifying um yeah he's he's very um he's very he can be quite affectionate towards jenny but um but there's a there's also yeah i'm desperately trying to to keep the boundaries there's a, there, there is a very there is an invisible line here that the viewers will be accustomed to um, <laughs> but it's a very it's a very strong invisible line here charlie isn't it no, I can, and I can honestly say, you see this gap here right now? Can you see, can we see the gap? No, let's oh, get right So the gap here, <laughs> this, this kind of gap. Look, you're shying away already. That's about right, although we're both leaning out, which looks wrong. But there is, it's, there's a dynamic there, isn't it? But you must, I bet you had such fun with that. But it's, I did. I mean, I got to sit next to Steve Coogan for six weeks, as yeah. close as you guys sit to each other every day. And not just for a few hours, but from six in the morning till seven at night. Right. So we got to know each other very well. Um, and I haven't laughed as much in oh. a very long time, I have to say. He is, he is hilarious, as Alan and himself, obviously. And I love the way that your character nicks his jokes. <laughs> yeah, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> and of course, he absolutely hates it. So there's this kind of like, is she a goodie or is she a baddie kind of? And, and as the series goes on, you'll start to see a little bit more of who she might really be. Excellent. Yeah, yeah it's a good trick, though. You've got to, if you've got a good line, you've got to keep it to yourself. Absolutely. Otherwise, you know, you someone, know that will. Now. <laughs> someone will nick it. <laughs>
for sure. There's so much. <laughs> Lovely six point. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, there's so Thank much you. I could say, but I'm not going to. <laughs> anyway, this time with Alan Partridge. It's BBC One tonight at 9.30 p.m. You're brilliant, by the way. Thank you. Uh, we're Thank going to be talking with Anna Smith. Uh, and we're going to look again. back at the Oscars. Wasn't it fantastic it last was night? Beautiful. And yeah, I'm Olivia very Coleman. thrilled for Olivia Coleman. She's a real star and she looked amazing, I Didn't thought. Didn't she? Yeah. Um, so we'll talk about the Oscars after the headlines, wherever you are this morning. See you shortly. <laughs> okay.